Praise be Jesus and Mary. The gospel today reminds us of one of the principal motivations for conducting the day with Mary and for which Our Lady came to Fatima in the first place. And that is the salvation of souls. The salvation of souls from the terrible and eternal pains of hell. We think of how saddening it is and how much compassion we experience in reading about the tragedy taking place in Libya, all the pain and suffering. And yet, this is as nothing when compared to the torments of hell, which we should be willing to exactly cut off our hand and foot and pluck out our eye in order to avoid. Where the worm dies not, that remorse of conscience never ceases to bite and gnaw at the soul for having rejected God's love and choosing not to obey his commandments. And where the fire does not extinguish the pain of sense that knows no mitigation or end. The vision of hell that Our Lady granted to the three shepherds at Fatima on July 13th, 1917, had a very profound effect on them. In particular, Blessed Jacinta, who was only about seven years old. She would meditate often on this vision of hell, asking Lucia various questions. She would say to her, For example, these aren't her exact words. I think she might have referred to blasphemy or some other mortal sin. But if someone misses Mass on Sunday, will they really go to hell? And Lucia would say, well, you know, it is a sin. And once they're there, God won't let them out, even after many years. Lucia would answer, no, hell is forever. And it was this consideration of the suffering and of the eternity of hell which drove Jacinta to have incredible compassion for sinners. And unlike Blessed Francisco, who was very quiet and reserved naturally, Jacinta would go around and correct others when she heard them saying bad things, and she would tell them to stop, or else you will go to hell. She was always inventing new sacrifices and new penances in order to win graces for the conversion of sinners. And so we, too, should follow this example of genuine love for neighbor, that desire for the salvation of souls should really motivate us in this apostolate of the day with Mary. We should be inspired to great prayer and sacrifice in carrying out the day with Mary apostolate, working for and with Our Lady, who said at Fatima, many souls go to hell because they have no one to pray and make sacrifices for them. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Fatima.